just about on the auto. Have to pull over soon, I think. Not good. I don't really like that. <clears throat> so it's sitting at yeah like 114 degrees on the transmission. I think it'll just chill for a bit, let it cool down. Not ideal. Yeah. Chilling with the heater on. <laughs> Wood for days. Someone's very nicely cut some big chunks of wood down there. So just got to carry them up. Better get a fire going, eh? Rightio, this is a bit more like what I was hoping for. So we drove. Uh, up north a little bit and then in on the McMillan's track so they reckon you can take caravans in I would agree but it is one heck of a descent like you're going down for I don't know 15 minutes probably um, and if you met another van coming the other way it would be all sorts of fun and games there's a few spots you'd get around each other but not uh, not that many options so we went to Talbotville that's a big open camping area um, we well, we actually did detach because um, Sarah wasn't keen to take the camper and explore. Um, but we found a better spot. So this is along the Crooked River track um, to the south, just a smidge, um, sort of in a spot where nobody else will come. Hopefully, um, really, really beautiful. So car and camper, nice little fire pit, and then the most amazing little creek ever. That the kids have been having a ball in. So. Yeah, I don't know, I prefer being away from everyone where we can because it allows the kids to sort of make noise and whatever without me worrying about upsetting the neighbours. I think people who come to the high country probably want a bit of peace and quiet. Um, anyway, they're having a ball over here. And life's tough, hey. What are you up to? Wasting the day away. Wasting the day away, why? Playing a silly game because most of the gamey things that I just play to waste do whatever. It's a waste you need time. net and Pretty. we have no internet. Oh, yeah. no. <sighs> Not bad at all. You making Ollie? A murky pool. A murky pool. You can see that. You like this place? Pretty cool, isn't it? Are you gonna hop in? Swim. So just going for a walk with the kiddos, trying to wear some last minute energy off. Uh, heading towards Talbotville campground. So this is one of them. You can camp down in there anywhere you want. Looks like there. there's a swag down there too. And then you can keep going this way to the main camp. So there are some signs about where you can camp. Um, yeah, we're just beyond that. I don't know whether you're actually allowed to be there or not, but we're not doing anything wrong. Anyway. 
Good day. Welcome to Billy Goat's Bluff Day. So I'm super excited. We're heading out of camp now. Um, should only be about 40 minutes, I reckon, to the start of the track. It's supposed to be pretty nasty at the moment, so it'll be very interesting to see what it's actually like. Sarah's, uh, she's a bit worried. And I'm, I don't know, let's see. Hopefully it's not too gnarly. We don't have anyone else with us, so. We will be cautious, of course. Um, hopefully we bump into some other people that we can sort of tag along with. But what a day, look at it. Blue skies, absolutely magnificent. Yeehaw. Who's excited? Who's excited? Where are we going? You don't sound very excited, are you excited? What are you doing, man? You're a monkey, eh? Hey, what's your name? There was no worry about people from the movie, so we're in the road, mate. Hey, right. let me get through, please. Thank you. Look, a little car. Billy Goats, this is the start. There's no sign there that we could see, just a sign about the Alpine National Park. Um, so yeah, heading up towards the helipad. It looked pretty menacing in the distance. Um, so far it's just a bit rocky and whatever, seems okay. See how we go. A bit rocky, he says. <laughs> Sarah's stressing. This is um, I'm it's pretty, not enjoying it very much. It's pretty much. hardcore, but it's not like it's nothing beyond what I was expecting. It's fine, I'm not that worried at the moment. I think my big thing is that this part is meant to be the easier part, and they say once you get to the heli part, if you don't like what you've been on, then the next bit's way worse. And well to me this is like my borderline of what I'm happy with doing. And Aaron's like, no, I'll be fine. Well, we're at the heli pad. So that didn't take very long, it's only about 15 minutes from the bottom. Um, yeah, a couple of spots where it's a bit rough and whatever, but if you've got a locker and decent tires and you can pick a line, 
no problem at all. All pretty straightforward. So check out the views. What an amazing spot. Unbelievable when it goes over that way. Up oh, that away. Yeehaw. So you don't want to do this track, is that what you're telling me? Why is that? Too bumpy. Too bumpy, what else? We've done about half of it. Are you guys not having fun? Imagine the proper full drive, hey? No? <laughs> not getting much of a vote of confidence here, eh? I said this looks a bit harder. We're going to have a squeeze, eh? Which way shall we go, babe? Down. Down? <laughs> what was that, oh? Why did we not turn around the helipad? Why do you want to turn around in the helipad? Because I just don't want to do this any. Oh. the top I think. What a ripper drive. Check out the views. What a spot. It is hard to explain how amazing that is. Ah, yeah. So you can see where we came from down there. Unreal. The pinnacles. I'm gonna walk up. So this is the car park. One other person up here. What do you reckon, eh? Boring. Boring. Ollie's very upset. Doesn't want to be here. Didn't want to do the track. He's a big cranky bum today, aren't ya? Huh? Rightio. So this must be the weather station or something. Comms and all that. There's a toilet up here. That's nice of them. And a car. I've decided I'm going to buy an old patrol and uh, come up here with a swag and just explore for like a month. 
and uh, yeah, kids and Sarah, they hear us a bit at home, hey? So I get a holiday when you get back? No. A month long? Why not? I might not get back. So Sarah's just going to hold the GoPro uh -huh. so you can see her sure. facial expression. Except I won't do any because... What were you doing just before? I don't know what I was doing before. I was just... Now I'm just going to smile all the time. I wasn't smiling before. What were you doing? I don't know. Why not? Don't <laughs> look at me. You should say your facial expressions. What's wrong with my facial expressions? <laughs> so that's Billy Goats done and dusted. Uh, coming down is a bit less controlled, I think, because you you know you got gravity working against you, but. Yeah, pretty easy. I didn't think it was too bad actually. Um, and even Sarah was saying a lot easier. Um, what well, seemed like it was not as bad coming down. So I don't know. Oh, that was the first bit. The first bit I thought was really hairy. And then I must have got used to it. And then I was like, the second half was okay. And then coming down, this top half looked hard, felt harder. But then we got to the second, the part after the heli pad. And I was like, oh, this is really easy. Why was I stressing then? I don't know. So yeah, well we're doing a lot of fun. Um, the actual track, what do you reckon? Three hours probably up and down? Yeah. Something like that. Just over. Um, yeah, it doesn't take that long. You definitely, like you'd be stupid going out there at the moment um, with not having decent all-terrain or muddies. Um, and that, Experience. A bit of experience. Unless you, you know, got someone that's giving you good directions. So it's Friday today. We specifically did this today so that we don't have to put up in crazy traffic tomorrow. Um, we're going to head up and do the rest of the Crooked River track tomorrow. Um, hopefully it'll be a track that the kids will enjoy a bit more. They didn't like bouncing around too much up and down the hill. But very cool. Worth doing. Back at camp for the Arvo. School for the kids. Uh, tomorrow we're going to do the Crooked River track. And the day after we're going to try and head out to Blue Rag. So that Billy Goats Bluff, um, I think traditionally it's a pretty easy track. I would say it is definitely uh, meets the difficult criteria. New tracks are calling it extremely difficult at the moment, um, which yeah, it could be. I think, like I was a bit nervous um, going on our own. I would have liked to have done it with another another car, but if you've got a good vehicle, good tyres, you know, you've got all the gear um, and you know how to drive, um, you've done four wheel drive tracks and that, you probably be okay, but yeah, always advisable to go with a second vehicle if you can. Um, unfortunately, not much of an option with us when you're travelling around. We didn't meet anyone at the bottom. So, yeah, we could have gone um, south and around and back on to, towards Dargo, but it would have been another like four hours of driving. Um, and the kids are getting pretty over it, let's be honest. It's not. Um, probably not that much fun just sitting in the back of the car bouncing around so yeah really good fun thoroughly enjoyed that and um, looking forward to seeing some more tracks good day so we're leaving camp this morning we're going to do the rest of the crooked river track we're driving back down to uh, Talbotville the old township and then yeah we'll see what the tracks like and we can come back that way or we go along something spur bell bell town spur or something Ooh, see how we go it? bull town i don't know
What you got there? A muffin. A muffin. Stuck. So Sarah decided to make some muffins this morning. <clears throat> they're pretty good, except they're stuck to the um, cupcake, which is a bit cupcake thing. What do you call it? The muffin tin can. Okay, case. Okay. It's because they've got cheese in them, so they're cheesy muffins. So really cheesy. But they're still pretty yummy, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Very good. So we're just chilling here. The kids wanted to stop and have a look. We have a nasty little hole up here. We've got to go around. That could be fun. All right. So where to go? We go in the middle. Or straddle one side. I reckon the middle is the safest option. That one's built over here. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty cool thing. Let's yeah. get going, you clever circus finger. I, I live in a bus. So, the Crooked River track was a lot of fun actually. Really scenic, really short, only takes about, I don't know, 35 minutes or something. A um, couple of sections towards the Macmillan Road that were more challenging, um, but just, yeah, awesome. Really, really good, really enjoyed that. And then you drive up that bull spur track, which was, uh, I don't know, pretty straightforward, really a couple of little dusty sort of rock areas, but um, yeah, really good. Thoroughly enjoy that. So we spent the day just chilling at camp. Uh, Sierra made an amazing damper, which she'll tell you about. And we're gonna take off tomorrow to find another camp and we will do the Blue Rag range track in the plan. Uh, so it should be fun. Anyway, Sierra will spin you around and tell you about the damper she made. I will, apparently. Um, so I just made a damper, a sweet damper that had currants and a bit of icing sugar some white chocolate, and then your self-raising flour, and water. Um, I got a recipe sort of idea off of, or a video from Fire to Fork, and he had someone on who did something similar. So we tried that, and it was so good with some butter on it, and it just melts, it was delicious. It went in five seconds. I can't even show you what it looked like. 
because it just it's all gone. But it was probably our favourite damper that we've done so far. So and now Aaron's just cooking well, yeah, we are cooking apricot chicken and potatoes on the fire. 